Um, the, the thing I've learned is that God discards nothing. Right. There is no such mm. thing as waste in the hand of the creator. I mean, he created everything, every, uh, every cell, every tissue, every tendon, every organ system has purpose. And I think where the, the enemy is so subtle and so crafty is he makes us believe that God can't use that thing. Like mm -hmm. that's the thing that we have to keep hidden because if mm -hmm. people knew about it, then they would say, certainly you can't be a Christian. If they knew that mm -hmm. thing. Um, and so what we do is we end up walking around um, as, as living lies. You know, we, we show people a curated yes. self, uh, but not our true self. And, and the thing I've, I've learned in my own life, just through my own history is it takes vulnerability. It takes transparency mm -hmm. to win mm -hmm. freedom. Mm -hmm. As long as the, the, the shame is given power, yes. uh, as long as it's allowed yeah. to silence us, um, we will never understand what, how and what God created us for. See, here's the thing. No, God does not will hurt. No, God does not will mm -hmm. tragedy and God does not delight in that at the same time. God works all things together. Mm -hmm for our good. And that is the nature of God. You know, when I think about, I was, I was ministering to a group of women not too long ago. And I said to them, you know, there are, there are women statistically in any given crowd, there are a large number of women who have had abortions, mm -hmm. but you would never know that. Why? Because it's, it's a, it's a source of shame. But the thing about that is our brokenness is not our burden. It's our ministry because there are so many women who carry that same burden. They need ministry. But if you never are honest about it, you will walk around thinking you're the only one. I think about women who have been divorced and they feel like because their husband left them or cheated on them or, or did whatever to them, that somehow they lost their value. They've lost their purpose because they are no longer a wife. That is a ministry. People who have filed bankruptcy, who want to hide it. I don't want anybody to know because they'll think, you know, they'll think ill of me. That is a ministry. So I, I've learned that God uses everything. He, he doesn't discard anything. Um, and there's nothing that you can do that will disqualify you or invalidate you. As a matter of fact, that very thing that you want nobody to know about is the thing that is necessary for somebody else's freedom. So at some point, we have to be honest because only until you're honest will you actually experience freedom. Right. And I think that's what God desires yeah. for us. Nona, that you brought out that nothing is ever wasted in the right. kingdom of God. And right. so no matter what, every event holds potential for purpose and destiny, whether it baits your passion, whether it fires you up, whether, you know, nothing is wasted in God's kingdom and everything is for a purpose. He'll take, it's not all good. He said, I'll take everything bad and I'll turn it right. for your good. And so how do we help people find their identity in Christ? I know that, I know that repeating what God says, I am yes. the righteousness of God in Christ. When we feel when we feel unworthy, when we feel unloved, I am the righteousness of God. Mm -hmm. I am I am more than a conqueror. I am filled with the Holy Spirit. I am healed, I am mm -hmm. whole, I am delivered, I am set free. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a new creation in Christ. Mm -hmm. And speaking that over yourself, it just right. brings life. And, yes. and then we can share that with others. Hi everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe today and you'll never miss a new upload. Thanks for being a part of our Better Together community.